South Carolina, but Britton and his T2 are up with the morning sun, hunting Civil War relics. But he seems to have traveled a bit further back in time with this Revolutionary War artifact. I'm hunting this old, old site, and there was supposedly Revolutionary War, um, almost like skirmish over here. And my first signal is a Revolutionary War musket ball. That's awesome. Rang up great on the T2. Gave a really good signal, so. If that's all I find today, man, I'm happy. That is such a cool piece of history. But we're gonna keep going to see if we find anything else. Nick, the youngest Team Technetics member, can swing with the best relic hunters out there. And it just so happens that he and his T2 are proving it right now. I swipe back the dirt. I think it's an Eagle Infantry. I thought I saw an eye poking through. See that? I was wiping away the dirt. It was a good signal. Yep. Beautiful Eagle Infantry. See that? Oh my god. We are finding a bunch of awesome buttons today. This is awesome. John and his Technetics Patriot are coin hunting in a heavily hunted park in California. And even though this park's been hunted for many years, John's able to pull out those coins that the others have missed. We have another penny right here. And it is a another wheat penny. There it is. All right. Sweet. Another wheat penny. Back-to-back -back wheat pennies here. Pretty stoked about that. So this is a, let's see, a 56, it looks like. Yep. 1950, 1956, something like that. So there it is, another wheat penny back to back. I will be hitting this area quite hard, that's for sure. Russ is battling some heavy desert winds in West Texas to discover amazing pieces of Indian Wars history. Service seagull button. Nice. That is a nice button right there. Brandon and his buddies are digging in deep for turn of the century bottles in Alabama. Uh, so far I'll show you what we've got. We've got this neat little bottle right here. It says Red Top. Now this was either a whiskey, a miniature whiskey, or it may have been a pepper sauce. What do you think, Clayton? I would almost think pepper sauce. Because of the red in it? Yeah, probably. Which, nothing super special. We found a couple stoppers. Uh, stopper was in the top of one of the flasks, which was broke. It's always neat to find them together. And also found a three-in-one which was an oil, oil bottle back then, uh, which, you know, not super, super uh, fantastic finds, but there again, we're just getting started. I'll kind of show you around. Uh, our buddy Michael had came over earlier this week and dug this hole, which he's like a mole. He tunnels more than he widens out. And over here to the side, yeah, that's right, Michael, you heard me. <laughs> uh, to the side over here, we're just widening it out because there's two of us here. Uh, there's a tree here. I'm gonna turn around and show you a little bit what it looks like. The tree is falling over a little bit. We're hoping it'll go ahead and tank on over to the side. And that'll make that'll join our holes all together. Over in the UK, Graham and his G2 Plus are digging a bit deeper back in history, the Bronze Age to be exact. I've just managed to unearth a very strange looking artifact. Um, it's got some age to it. As you can see, first indications I thought Celtic Roman, but what is it? Uh, it's got like a little indentation hole there, and it's got a line here. Uh, very odd. Anyway, I've um, 
I've posted it up on Facebook as you do, it seems to be the modern way of doing things, even myself after all them years of detecting I've not been able to um, find anything like this, but uh, so I've posted it on Facebook and it's come back as a positive idea as Bronze Age, a Bronze Day, even, well, a Bronze Age unidentified artifact from the PAS website and there's also a couple of guys quoting a Bronze Age chape, like a moustache chape. Very strange object. Anyway, I've had, I have had Bronze Age off this field before many moons ago, so um, whatever it is, let's hope it is Bronze Age. There's two positive IDs come back already, so I thought I would share that with you, the G2 Plus at it again. Um, there it is. Back in the States, Greg has just found an amazing piece of Confederate Civil War history. Okay, so working this field here and uh, got a good target. Come down here with me and see it right there in the center of the screen. Looks like, yep, yeah, like it's a dropped in field. There we go.